Hello boys and girls, it's your teacher, Miss Nahad, coming back to read The Puddle Pail. So because it is a long, kind of a long book, I will read half of it and then we will take a break and then I'll come back and read the other half. And then you will listen and then draw me a picture of The Puddle Pail. So The Puddle Pail by Elisa Kelvin. And let's see, here we go. We see some little dinosaurs. Looks like they're maybe a nice spring day. I see some flowers. I see some monkeys hanging in the trees. Let's see what's going on. And both of the dinosaurs have a pail. That's a bucket, right? A pail in their hand with a little scooper. So maybe they live by the beach and they're going to um, go and collect some seashells or let's see what they're doing. One bright morning after a storm, Ernest, a young blue crocodile, so this is Ernest, and his big green brother, Saul, set off for the beach. They skipped through the wet grass and stamped through the mud, drumming on their shiny pails. So they were going to the beach. I'm going to fill my pail with shells, said Sol, who loved to collect things. I'm going to fill my pail with sand and build a sand castle, said Ernst, who loved to make things. So both the brothers are going down to the beach to do something with their pails. Maybe I'll fill, maybe I'll fill mine with some rocks. Maybe I'll find some rocks too, said Sol, all shapes and colors for my rock collection. Oh, so remember, remember we were talking about collection, so it seems like somebody likes to collect rocks and some feathers for my feather collection, and maybe some string. Soul bent down to pick up a rubber band. Just the thing for my rubber band collection. You ought to start a collection, Ernest. I don't know what to collect, Ernest said. Collect something you really like, said Soul. Something that comes in all different sizes, and shapes. That's That way your collection will be interesting. So, Green Brother Soul likes to collect rocks and rubber bands and feathers. And Ernest, the blue one, he doesn't have any kind of collection. So he's thinking, hmm, what can I collect? So let's see what he comes up with at the beach. Ernest watched the clouds. See the clouds making all kinds of shapes? Ernest watched the clouds make flower shapes and seahorse shapes in the windy sky. He watched a little snake cloud puff up into a dragon. He watched a rabbit cloud curl into a ball. So wow, the clouds are really interesting. Clouds are interesting. Said, he said, I wish I could collect clouds. Clouds, exclaimed Soul. Ah, you can't collect clouds. Think of something else. That's not something good to collect. You can't even catch the clouds. Hmm, said Ernest. I like stars, said Ernest, imagining the sky at night. I love to watch the stars, but you can't collect stars, said Soul. They're too far away and too big and very, very hot. They look so small and cold, said Ernest. I wish I could collect stars. I know, said Sol. How about starfish? You could collect them. I like starfish, said Ernest, but I don't think I want to collect them. <sighs> well, Sol suggested, what about Star-shaped cookies. You could collect star-shaped butter cookies with frosting 
and star-shaped chocolate cookies with sprinkles, Ernest added, and star-shaped cherry cookies with toasted nuts, said Sol. Ernest's mouth started watering. He just wanted to eat the cookies. He didn't want to collect the cookies. I wish I could collect a bunch of cookies right now in my stomach. Mmm, sounds like a good idea. Just then, something caught Sol's eye. A bottle cap. Let's see. A bottle cap lying in the puddle. Look at that sparkly bottle cap. Ernest, you could start a bottle cap collection. It's pretty, Ernest agreed. But I like the puddle. It's even more pretty. The puddle, said Sol. It looks like a little piece of sky on the ground. I wish I could collect the puddle. Look at how shiny. Maybe that's why the book is called Puddle Pail, because Ernest is going to want to collect puddles. You can't collect puddles, said Sol. Yes, I can collect puddles, said Ernest. They're not too far away or too big or too hot. I don't want to eat them. Splish, splosh, splish, splosh. Ernest scooped the puddle into the pail. Ernest said, Sol, you're not really going to start a puddle collection, are you? Yes, I am. So look at him putting the water into the pail. I wonder how that's going to go. Yes, said Ernest, I am. He scooped up a green puddle round a saucer, splish splosh. It joined the other puddle in the pail. So rolled his eyes, whatever. Since you're going to stay here collecting puddles, I'll go down to the beach by myself and collect real things. Hmm, so Big Brother didn't think that Soul had a good idea. Look at his arms. Hmm, I'll just go to the beach by myself. Okay, said Ernest. Puddles are real, thought Ernest. As he searched for more to collect, here's a purple puddle. But I wonder if it's purple because the house is purple and the reflection makes it look purple. Hmm, remember we're talking about reflections? And the striped one and a flowered one. Here's a puddle full of diamonds and a puddle full of squares. So see the reflection of the fence, the reflection of the little flowers, the squares, the diamonds. So he thinks he's collecting all these things, but I wonder what's going to happen when he mixes them all together in his bucket, in his pail. So let's stop here, boys and girls, and then I'll be back to finish. So we have to make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen to the collection of puddles that Ernest is putting in the bucket? Are they gonna stay separate? Or do you think it's gonna mix up and then be something different? What do you think is gonna happen to Ernest's uh, puddles? Okay, boys and girls, I'll be right back. Teacher loves you.